Well, last week we got that Vanity Fair article that seemed to indicate Blade was a bit of a mess. But now, earlier today, we actually got a new report from Deadline with the first bit of good news for the Daywalker I've read in a really long time. Let's dive into the story, talk about what's going on, and kick around the possibilities that he could appear much sooner than expected. Before we do that, though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, check out that merch shelf below. It is an awesome way to support this channel. Well, we've got a bit of Blade news today, and the character is getting higher and higher profile, which to me really indicates what's going on behind the scenes and the excitement that generally exists for this character. Now, we have two different Blade stories. One's a rumor, and one is an absolute lock. So let's get the dubious rumor out of the way first. As we always say, it's not from Kevin Feige or Marvel Studios. A lot of these reports really fall into the category of take it with a grain of salt. But this one comes via scooper Daniel Rickman. And according to him, we're going to see Blade much sooner than anybody was expecting. Now, what he is reporting is that there will be some sort of multiversal cameo for the Blade character in the upcoming Deadpool 3 movie. That's right, it's being reported Blade could appear in Deadpool. Now, what's unclear is which version. Will this be the Wesley Snipes version that was a part of the original series, because we know Snipes would love to come back and play the character, or will this be the premiere appearance of Mahershala Ali as the Daywalker? Well, that hasn't been clarified yet. But considering the behind-the-scenes issues with the Blade reboot right now, and kind of the raw emotions that are probably surrounding that, more than likely, if I'm making a guess, this will be the Snipes version of Blade. We know that Ryan Reynolds is a fan of the character, so I could totally see them working a way to bring him into this world, and honestly, Blade deserves at least a nod. I cannot overstate how important Wesley Snipes is to the whole modern Marvel movie movement. The first Blade movie let the horse out of the barn and basically created the path for many Marvel movies moving forward. This is what got the X-Men made, and without the X-Men, we really probably wouldn't have a modern superhero universe in the way that we know it on the big screen. So giving him a cameo in this movie seems like the right thing to do. Now, this is added to a long list of cameos that are completely unconfirmed, but if there's anybody they need to lock down to make this movie work and give it a little bit of a special nod, it would be Wesley Snipes. Now, the other big bit of news that we have actually comes directly from Blade director Jan Demange. As you know, Jan took over the role a couple of months ago after basically Marvel cleaned house. And we've been hearing all kinds of reports about the movie since then and what was going on. Heck, the behind-the-scenes situation was so bad with former director Bassam Tariq that apparently Marvel fired one of their executives for not sounding the alarm on the project much earlier. That's exactly how bad it is. Now, earlier today, we got a report from Deadline, and that's not Marvel or Kevin Feige, but this is directly from an interview with Jan. And what Jan confirmed is that the upcoming Marvel Studios Blade reboot will indeed be rated R. Now, as many of you know, Deadpool is going to be Marvel's first rated R project, but it seems like, based on this report, Marvel is not going to shy away from the rating for some of their characters, and honestly, I wasn't too sure how you were going to do a PG Blade movie, and now that we know it's rated R, this only drives up the hype level. Now, they just picked up the writer from Logan, and you know that movie finally gave us the rated R version of Wolverine we'd wanted the whole time, and it was absolutely spectacular. Now, their actor strike is still keeping things moving pretty slow, but the writers are back to work, and I'm almost positive Blade is getting the treatment at this point that it should have been getting all along. It looks like as Marvel realigns all their projects and kind of reprioritizes things that are important, well, I think Blade might actually be something that benefits from that the most. It's in a very early stage production, thanks to all these rewrites, and Marvel now seems to be taking things much more seriously now that the fire hose has kind of been turned down on the content and they have a little bit of time to breathe, think, and create in a way that's not rushed to get it over to the streaming service as fast as possible. Hopefully we get some more news on the Blade movie and maybe even his cameo in Deadpool 3, but both of them sound like a lot of fun and it makes me excited to know that Blade does indeed have a future in the Marvel Universe.